Hello, welcome to another was sold fast video. And by fast, we mean that it was listed and purchased by somebody within a 90 day time frame. In other words, when it comes to eBay, that's a 100% sell through rate. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Now, before we jump into the numbers, I like to first explain the math is not gonna math. And that is because I'm going to give you what they paid for the item, what it cost me in fees, cost to source the item, all that kind of stuff. And then the last thing I'll give you is the profit before taxes are taken out. So yes, the math isn't going to math because if you try to add it up and subtract it and all that during this video, you won't get the numbers that I'm giving you because there are other variables within this situation that are not being explained on this video. So keep that in mind. Now let's look at what has sold for me. As usual, guys, I do have children and a dog. This house gets noisy, so just be aware you'll hear things. So based on where we left off last time, we're going to start with a Title IX item. This was an older Title IX item. It had a like Y2K vibe to it. The tag was older. It had some fading to the graphics, all of those sorts of things. But this is still a very desired brand. And even with it being an old item, it still sold. It sold on Poshmark in eight days for $28. I paid $2.50 for it. My fees were $5.60. I did pay an additional $2.02 for shipping, though I'm not really going to talk about shipping in this video, which left me with a profit of $17.88 on this Title IX item. Title IX is a brand that I tend to pick up even without comping it very often because it just, it sells. It does, and usually for a decent amount, uh, depending on what it is, it could go for more or less, obviously. But listen, that was a very old t-shirt. It was like a the kind of like waffle knit thermal type and it's still sold for $28, so keep that in mind. Title IX is a great brand at the moment. Oh, while I remember this, I think that the last video I accidentally skipped one item, so we're going to go over it on this video, which is also making me realize there's probably a lot of items that I'm skipping and not realizing it, but I caught this one. And that is a Robert Graham pullover shirt for men. Now we know that Robert Graham is hit or miss. There are some pieces that can do really well, and it's usually like the button-ups with the the like ornate cuffs that you can flip over. Those are usually what tend to go the best, especially for the wilder prints. But this was like a regular shirt. I didn't expect it to sell as fast as it did. It didn't go for a lot though, keep that in mind. So I, I flipped this Robert Graham shirt in one day for $20. Not a big profit, but I will take it. I originally paid $4.99 for it and my fees were $3.88. So I flipped it in a day and made an extra 12 bucks and 61 cents. That was my profit on that item, 12 bucks and 61 cents. Okay, now we're on to another Poshmark item. And this was a J. Crew men's suit jacket. It was a linen blend, which I feel like linen is always something that's going to add to an item. I always check comps for items that are linen, to be honest. Um, or grab it <laughs> at the least. And it sold in 58 days for $35. Now, also I do wanna say, when it comes to men's suits and blazers and jackets and all those kind of things, it's not really my forte. I wasn't even sure that this would sell for what it did because the comps were a little bit iffy, but I felt confident enough to pick it up. So it was actually a set, but the sets were different sizes. The pants were not the same size as the top. So. Uh, I decided to separate them and sell them. Um, so yeah, 58 days turned around to $35. I paid $4.50 for this half of the set and my fees were $7. So I made a profit of $23.50 on that blazer. Next is a Vineyard Vines item. And a lot of times those basic pieces you find are whatever, like if you find just the t-shirts, the polos, all of that, it's whatever. There are certain things though that do well. Uh, one of them being the Vineyard Vines performance for men, which, might be in this video. I have sold one. Have I sold it? I think it's sold. I don't know. Um, but right now we're going to talk about women's items. I feel like I find more profit in Vineyard Vines women's items specifically. So if I find something other than like the basic plain t-shirts or sweatshirts, I will look it up. And this was one of those items. It's a Vineyard Vines banana leaf terry uh, Sherpa shirt. And it was a size 2XL though the tags were torn out. I did have to do some research measure it and research to find out what size it was. Obviously including measurements is a big deal. So I did that, um, but it did sell on Poshmark in 17 days for $37. So yes, when it comes to the women's vineyard vines, if you find really cool patterns, things that are a little more decorative than the plain t-shirts, those are the things you wanna look up, especially dresses, which I don't know if we'll talk about in this video, but maybe in a future one. Um, I love finding Vineyard Vines dresses. So yes, it sold for $37 in 17 days. I paid $3.50 for it. 
my fees were seven dollars and forty cents and after shipping and everything i made a profit of twenty four dollars and eight cents on this vineyard vines sherpa thing <laughs> next is a brand that i would not always pick up but the more dressier button-ups that are kind of have like a southern vibe or what i pick up and by southern i mean you got to think about what guys in the south would usually wear there's kind of a style that comes with being in the south and this item fit into that it was just an oxford dress shirt but this one specifically very much fit the type of somebody who would wear it in the south i have also came across like other button-ups that are a little more grandpa-ish and i have not picked those up though there is a market for grandpa style items so maybe if you market that way it could be but i leave them behind i only get gant items that look like this it's really hard to explain. If it looks like your grandpa would wear it, then just put it back. But this item sold on eBay in 36 days for $21. It did have a flaw on it. There was a stain. Keep that in mind. But I paid $4.99 for it. My fees were, I had seller fees of $4.08. And then I had promotional fees of $1.49. And that brought my profit to $12.04. Let's talk about Eddie Bauer First Descent. If you find Eddie Bauer First Descent, always look it up. Always, always, always. It's not often I leave it behind. It's also not like the main Eddie Bauer line that I find, but yeah, always look it up. It sold on Poshmark in 57 days. And this is a good example here. These were just some basic nylon capris that people wear to go hiking or to be outdoors, th those kind of things. So capri pants sold in 57 days on Poshmark for $36, which is pretty good. This is the time of year where you see those nylon outdoor hiking, fishing, camping pants start to sell. And I paid $4.99 for it. My fees were $7.20. So I made a profit of $21.70 nine cents on this Eddie Bauer item. The next one was a fun one and it is a Grace Karen sheath dress. Now I wouldn't pick up everything Grace Karen because not everything comps well. However, this was a very specific item with really great features to it. One, it was a rockabilly style, which is like that retro pin -up -y vibe. It had like the um, sweetheart neckline and then it had the like, it's almost like a square here. I don't know how to explain it, but rockabilly is very much a thing all the time i feel like it never goes out of style so this was just one of those items where i had a lot going for it we have a 3xl which is a great size it's pin-up rockabilly it has a sweetheart neckline it's roses with polka dots which is very classy and retro so it had a lot going for it so it sold on ebay in three days for 30 dollars. i would consider a lot of grace karen items if they are new with tags but for the most part, I pass a lot of Grace Karen, which I find a lot, interestingly. So that's my little two cents about Grace Karen. I paid $5.99 for it. The fees were $5.15. So I made a profit of $21.51. Okay, so lately J. Crew dresses have been doing well. I don't have a ton of them, but they're doing well when I have them. This, I, I believe this was its actual name when you look up the style code and it was J. Crew Mixed Print Tiered Dress. So I kept the name because it seemed to be working for it when I checked comps. But something I recently learned to pay attention to is only use the like style name for it if it actually works to its benefit. Sometimes you're better off using those very minimal amount of characters on other words that appeal more to the buyers. So this is one of those things where putting mixed print tiered dress happened to work in my favor. It was a size large and had long sleeves, which are also things that people look for. And to be honest, I'm surprised I didn't use like cottage core or anything in the title because I'm going really heavy with that because it's something that's working. But regardless, it sold on eBay in 64 days for $25. I paid $4.99 for it. My fees were $4.31. I made a profit of $17.33 on this dress. Okay, this was a cool sale and I did let it go for the lower end of what I could have gotten. And it was an INC International Concepts convertible dress. So if you don't know what a convertible dress is, it's a dress that's kind of like, uh, think of bandeau or a tube dress, tube top dress where, or sleeveless, I guess, sleeveless dress where um, it actually can be either a sleeveless dress or you can wear it and fold it a little bit down by the waist and it becomes a maxi skirt. So that's what a convertible dress is. And there actually seems to be a market for this. I don't come across these a lot, so I don't know much about them, but it makes sense because it's very versatile. And interestingly enough, it did sell to somebody in Spain. And that makes sense because I don't know the person, but a lot of times people in places like Spain are traveling light or they need things that are versatile because, you know, uh, if you live there, closet space is limited and things like that. Or if you're traveling a lot, you order things and get it sent that can work in versatile ways for you to wear it. 
like people that backpack and all that, they need things that can easily fit into their tight spaces as they're traveling. Uh, so either way, it's something that I definitely, it made sense it went to Spain. But it did sell on eBay in five days for $20. There was somebody else that tried to send me a lowball as soon as I listed it and I did not take that lowball. 20 to 30 is what I was looking for for this item. It was new with tags, but INC is not like a super great brand in my opinion. You know, like I have a rule that I want to make four times whatever I spent on it is my goal and this gave me that so I took it so in five days it sold for $20 I had paid $4.99 for it my fees were $3.70 and my profit was $13.63 also I do have a few outliers that I'm going to share at the end of this video which means that they were outside the 90 days but they sold for over $30 so I consider them still significant enough to share okay so next we're moving on to one that I love and adored and I wanted to keep it which is always my problem this was a stylistic choice to pick up and it was a vintage Carol Little cardigan now we'll get into why I use the keywords I used and everything but Carol Little is a great vintage brand to pick up I don't pick up every single thing but there are often pieces I pick up because I think stylistically it works for what's in style right now not to mention I think the pieces are cute <laughs> myself um but I try to pick them up based on if I think there's a market for it currently and there is vintage Carol Little is a great brand to always look up now using the word penny lane was a stretch for this because if you know what penny lane is it's those longer length coats that have the fur trim around the arms the bottom and often around the neck and maybe even down the opening of the jacket this was shorter but it still had some of those aspects to it and I wanted to test if I could still get it to sell by saying penny lane I think it got eyes on it, but I don't think it worked as far as what made it sell necessarily. I don't know. I, I'm still not sure which keywords might have been what sold it because I had a lot going for it. First of all, it was boiled wool. Boiled wool is a highly looked after texture and type of wool. It was a green color, very 70s. This was definitely a 70s piece. So all of those things were kind of working together to culminate it. This was one of those items where I posted a little too late in the game to sell wool for a really great price. So I didn't hit my goal sales price, but that's okay. It sold on Poshmark in 54 days for $35. And I paid $4.99 for it. And then my fees were $7. So I made a profit of $23.01 on this very beautiful vintage care little piece. Next is another vintage item. I feel like I'm getting a little better. And we're back. Somehow I corrupted a file on this camera and it didn't want to work anymore. Hopefully it works going forward. Okay, so what I was saying is that I'm getting better with vintage, but I think it's because I'm starting with the dress category. Dresses is something I really love to sell. So I think that's where I'm finding like a good pocket for vintage for myself. And this is an example of that. It was a, an unbranded, the tag was taken off, but it was a vintage piece, it very much screamed a vintage. And it was so beautiful. I actually wanted to keep it. I planned, I was like, if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. And I planned to go home and up the price, <laughs> but I didn't get a chance because it actually sold in two hours on eBay. Now, the reason it sold is because it was a very unique and beautiful piece. It hit all of the dark keywords for girls who are looking for these specific things. Like, first of all, this piece reminded me of the movie Practical Magic. And if you've ever seen that movie, you kind of know what I mean. Um, so I put that in the keywords along with goth, witchy, floral, grunge, patchwork. I didn't have room or else I probably would have put whimsigoth because that's a great keyword, but it all sold it in two hours for $35. So I do not get to keep the dress. I did pay $6.99 for it and my fees were $6.81. I made a profit of $26.81 on this beautiful dress that I really wanted to keep. Now let's talk linen. This is something that did not sell based on brand. It sold based on material. This is an Isaac Maserati linen blouse. There's nothing that's special about it other than some some details about it that would sell it. One, it was it was linen. Now the thing about linen is it usually will sell, not always for a lot. The brand is what ups the price for the linen. So with that being said, this didn't sell for a ton, but it had a lot going for it because it was an extra large. It had a beautiful green color that made me think of the coastal granny trend. So I did put the word coastal. Considering it's an Isaac Maserati piece, I didn't know if it was going to be bought by somebody younger looking for the coastal granny trend or somebody older looking for a coastal trend. So for that reason, I left out the word granny and just put coastal. <laughs> Uh, but also I did put keywords to make someone think about vacations, someone who might be looking for a vacation wear. So we put 
beach vacation boho. And I sold it in 16 days on eBay for $20. I paid $4.43. My fees were $3.60. I made a profit of $13.93 on this very basic brand top. <laughs> The next one was a fun one because the buyer was just one of those people that's a little bit more neurotic or uh, high energy. She messaged me so many times before even purchasing it. She messaged me multiple times during the process of purchasing it and messaged me, I think, after purchasing it. Um, so she was an interesting person. You just have to laugh when those people blow up your inbox with just like nonsense. It was true nonsense, but uh, she really just wanted the piece and was begging me not to sell it. I, it's funny when people do that. It's like it, whoever buys it, buys it. But it is a brand that you don't often think to pick up. It, it does look great. And it's one of those, it's one of those brands that has that Southern look that we talked about earlier in the video. It's Savannah Jane. I often leave it behind, but for this, this piece, I just felt like I knew it would sell and it did. Now this was a dress. It was like a mini dress or a long tunic, I'm not sure. I put it as a mini ship dress because that's the vibe I got. And it had that gauzy texture, which is a huge keyword for trends. Size large is a decent size. It's embroidered, floral animal print. So there's a lot going on. It was very busy, boho, southern. Those are words I used. So it sold to <laughs> the high energy lady on eBay in 22 days for $24. And I paid $4.99 for it. We have seller fees of $4.77. We have promotional fees of $1.77, so I made a profit of $15.01. Next is an express midi dress. This was new with tags. I don't have it in front of me, but by the time it's on the screen, you guys have it. I think it was new with tags. Uh, express midi dress was an extra large. It was all black, pleated. It had some smocking to it, stretch. So a really nice, like, satiny feel to it. A lot of great factors going for it. I put business casual because some people are looking for these pieces for work or work events, things like that. So it did sell on eBay in 57 days for $30. And I paid $0 for this dress, which is great. And my fees were $5.56. That was for seller fees. My promotional fees were $2.09. And I made $25.02 when I paid zero for it. So that's great. That works for me. Okay, so now we're going to backtrack just a little and share two outliers on this video. I don't want these to be too long, so that's all we're gonna share. One is a Jones New York dress. Uh, Jones New York is a whatever brand, but it was a wrap dress and it was midi length. So we know midi to maxi is highly desired. Wrap dress is very highly desired. And it was a 16W, great size. All of those things work together. Um, it had an interesting pattern to it. It was a heavy dress, I remember that. It was very thick and heavy. With all those factors, it did sell on, t on eBay for $32.49 in 125 days. So it is an outlier, but I knew it was one that would sell. I just didn't know how long it would take. Um, and I knew it would go for a decent amount because wrap dresses never go out of style, at least not to date. And I paid $5.99 for this. I had a seller fee of $6.28 a promotional fee of $2.38. I made a profit of $24.13 on that wrap dress. Lastly, I'm going to share one that was risky, but it worked out. It worked out great. <laughs> and that was a Jacobson's men's sweater, 100% lamb's wool. It's dead stock, so it's a vintage sweater. Or was it? I feel like it was, but when I researched Jacobson's, there was a chance that it might have just been past the cusp of vintage. So I did notate that explanation. I said, I feel like this is a vintage piece, but I explained the history of the company because the company was still selling pieces even after the vintage cutoff mark at this point. But I, I do think it was vintage and it sold in 116 days on Poshmark for $49, which is great. I had only paid $1.99 for it and my fees were $9.80. So I made a profit of $37.21 on this maybe vintage sweater. <laughs> All right, that's it for this video, but feel free to click up here and watch another video on my channel. As always, I'm not sure when my next video will be because it just depends on when I can do it. But I'll see you guys in another video.